So hey you, what to do, it's just me, Evolution of Beauty, coming at you with another video. So I just recently watched a video by the lovely Miss Leia810 or Leia, lovely Leia810 and she deems herself the foundation queen and I concur. Yes you are. I've been watching you for some time and all the foundations you get, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I love them. <laughs> so yeah, she talked about this foundation and she paid $3.99. Well, at my store, um, I didn't get it for $3.99, I got it for $4.99, but it's by Black Radiance and it's the Black Radiance Color Perfect Oil-Free Liquid Makeup. And it looks like this. Yes, I bought two. Now let me tell you little my little story behind this I went in there to get this and I only saw one in the slot and that was in the wrong slot and I'm like oh it was meant for me to get it so I said well let me look at the other ones and then I looked at the other slots and I saw another one behind I'm like oh and these were the last two so I'm like okay these were for me have no idea if I'm gonna like them or not but when she demoed it I had to go and just do my research and look for some more uh, reviews on this particular foundation and yeah I got some great feedback so I picked them up I have the color um, mocha honey I think that's the same color that she has now I recently tried the black radiance BB cream and I liked it but I didn't like it I had a love-hate thing kind of going on with that um, I think I like it more in the winter than in the summer because the oil I, I'm just really oily for that particular BB cream and I did not repurchase it because it just didn't hold up to some of the other um, BB creams that I have well mainly the uh, Ruby Kisses or the Kiss New York BB cream and I said no I'm not gonna repurchase it so yeah so let's open this up shall, you, shall we it's a glass bottle and look at, I was so impressed. I'm like, oh, it has a spatula. Yeah. So I did try it a little bit on my hand just to see um, the color match. And it seems like it is a perfect match. So let's get started. I prepped my face. I used the, let me show you. I used the Revlon Photo Ready. It's a primer. And wait, Riverline Photo Ready. That's what I use for my primer. And that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this. I guess I'll use my Tartlet Mirror. And I'm gonna apply it with the spatula. I compared this to some of my other foundations that I have as far as color and it seems like this would be the perfect match so I'm gonna wet my beauty it's not a beauty blender but my blender sponge with my rose water like I always do and we're gonna see how this stuff covers my hyperpigmentation on my skin all right, so. I didn't tell you that this is supposed to be a um is it a light to medium coverage? But According to her, it is buildable, so we'll see. And so far, I really like it. It feels very light and airy on the skin, as if I don't have anything on my skin. I can definitely say it is a light coverage.
from what I'm seeing right now. So this is the first coat. I still see some of my hyperpigmentation peeping through. But I like it and it dries super matte. The coverage is decent, but like I said, it's lightweight. And it feels like I don't have anything on my face. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a second coat. Wow, I can tell that this foundation is really like water-based. It, it, it feels very refreshing on the skin. I like that. And yes, it's buildable somewhat. This is definitely not giving me super full coverage, but covered enough. So I can definitely say that it is light to medium coverage. But it looks good. So I think I'm going to leave it right here. I'm going to come right back with my finished face. Okay, laters. So hey guys, I'm back and I finished applying my makeup. It's actually been about three hours since I applied my makeup. But this is how we're looking right now. I absolutely love this foundation so a couple of things I said um, in the early, earlier clip that this foundation was light to medium coverage this foundation is medium to full coverage it is very buildable however if you want to get light to medium coverage then use it with your beauty blender or blender sponge this foundation is not very blender sponge friendly because it dries super duper fast. So trying to build up the coverage using a blender sponge will not work because instead of applying more product, you're actually lifting the product that you already put down. So it, it, it'll look like you still have light coverage. But if you just want that light coverage, use the beauty blender or the blender sponge, but only put down one layer. And if you want to build it up, then switch from your beauty blender to either a fluffy foundation brush or a stippling brush. Now, I did go back in and I used my, um, my foundation brush um, and I stippled the product on. And I use the stippling method even without a stippling brush. I just like to stipple the product on instead of just brushing it on. And I got full coverage. This foundation is absolutely amazing. It dries super duper fast and it dries matte. Even though it dried matte, I still felt the need to set it because it is humid here today and upon touching my face, I did feel a little bit of stack, uh, st st tackiness, not stickiness, a little bit of tackiness, so I decided to set it. But right now, my face feels absolutely uh, amazing. I set it with my Mary Kay translucent powder. Let me dip one minute let me switch gears for a minute Mary Kay's translucent powder and it's white it has the MK on it and it's a white powder you guys if you have never tried Mary Kay's translucent powder you need to try it try this one 
the white one this stuff is amazing it gives you a luminous appearance on your skin like a luminescence it has like some luminous particles in it or something so your face looks luminous without looking oily and I'm an oily skin girl and I absolutely love the way my skin looks and it's been about three hours since I applied this powder and it has this amazing magic in it that actually blurs blurs your pores this stuff is amazing don't know how much it costs because it was gifted to me but you guys check this out okay back to the foundation <laughs> so I told you I got this from my local CVS I told you it was four dollars and ninety nine cent depending on where you get it from you can get it from either three three dollars or three ninety nine to four ninety nine um, I love this stuff it doesn't have did I tell you about the scent it has a light chemically scent nothing too bad but I love the way this stuff applies and how it feels on my skin it actually feels like it has lots of moisture in it. it felt very refreshing applying it to my skin and this is three hours wear and so far so good color match is absolutely amazing I did match it up to some of my other staple foundations and the color match perfect this foundation has not oxidized at all and it wears very well I haven't had very much transfer and I have been talking on my phone a little bit but not too much yeah this is not bad for five dollars absolutely love it give it a try and thank you guys for tuning into this video and to the next one you guys have an awesome day keep it shining and peace to you